The truth about Eugenie Bouchard's new boyfriend. This is Eugenie Bouchard, and today we're diving into the juicy details of her latest flame. Spoiler alert, it ain't just about the tennis. With beaches, brunches, and New York lunches, the buzz has been impossible to ignore. But who's this mystery man turning heads alongside our tennis queen? And why's their story been so hush-hush? Get set for the truth about Eugenie's new boyfriend. And hey, while you're at it, take a swing at our trivia question of the day. Who played the first tennis match in space? Drop your answers below. We'll be sifting through the comments, and who knows, we might just reply to yours. But don't worry, we'll reveal the answer at the end of the video, so stay tuned. And as always, if this video serves up some tennis joy, follow that like button and backhand a subscribe for more ace-worthy tennis content like this. So who hasn't daydreamed about dating an NFL quarterback, a hockey hunk, or hold up, a fan from Twitter? All right, that last one might sound a little off script, but when you're Eugenie Bouchard, life script is more of a blockbuster than a rerun. Eugenie's passport to love has been nothing short of a roller coaster. Remember 2021? Oh, the beach, the waves, and Mason Rudolph's chiseled jawline. The Instagram post shouted romance with captions like, My Valentine. But by 2022, the duo were exchanging bro fists rather than heart emojis. But the love train didn't stop there. Enter stage right, Jack Brinkley Cook. Wait, Brinkley? As in, the Brinkley family? Yep. And their sizzling Miami outing last August? Paparazzi gold. Fast forward to now, and it's all official on Instagram. No room for speculation, folks. Now, for those a bit behind on the who's dating who, here's a snapshot. Eugenie, or Janie as her fans affectionately call her, has quite the tale to tell. Born in 1994, this Canadian sensation hasn't just aced tennis, she's made history. Ever heard of a Canadian reaching the Wimbledon finals? Neither had the world until Janie did it in 2014. And while she's named after royalty, yeah, the real princess kind, her crown jewel might be that interaction with tennis legend Roger Federer in 2012. Highlight of her life, she'd refer to it as. No big deal, just casual chat with Federer at Wimbledon. We'd all be cool and not pee our pants in that situation, right? But here's where the plot thickens. Jack Paris Brinkley Cook isn't just any Joe off the street. Born in 1995, he's got a lineage that's kinda picture perfect. His mum, Christy Brinkley, supermodel, actress, the whole shebang. But hold on, Jack's no mirror reflection of his mum's glitzy world. Private, reclusive, the dude barely pops up on social media. Except, of course, for that heart-melting, world's most beautiful issue in 2017. You'd think with a mum like Christy, he'd be all about the limelight. Jack's passion runs deeper, quite literally, into the ocean. Surfing, sailing, swimming, if it's wet and wavy, he's there. But for those of you scouting for some drama, Jack's adventure might soon lead him to Hollywood. After all, he's dipped his toes in the acting waters, graduating from the Lee Strasberg Theatre and Film Institute. And if that's not versatile enough, the guy even launched an app, Rove, in 2019. Talk about multi-talented. Now, circling back to the lovebirds, Eugenie and Jack. Two lives, each filled with its adventures, now intertwined. No kids on the horizon, but they've got time. For now, it's Instagram posts, beach dates, and maybe some tennis. Okay, so you've been given the 411 on Eugenie and Jack's individual claim to fame. But when stars of such magnitude collide, we aren't just talking about a romantic dinner for two, but a full-blown celestial event. Let's now delve deeper into the details. Jack Brinkley Cook, 28, son of THE Christy Brinkley. I mean, come on, his mum's got the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue under her belt. Three times. On top of that, the movie and TV roles she's juggled would make anyone dizzy. And Jack himself, not just arm candy. 
the dudes modeled and dabbled in some indie films, giving Hollywood a little taste of the Brinkley Cook charm. Now, the streets had been buzzing for a while, whispers here, rumors there, and paparazzi photos everywhere. The two have been enjoying some sun and sand in Miami, lunches in the Big Apple's chic Soho district, and just some good old casual fun. But as with all epic tales, there was a twist. Was this the real deal, or just two buds hanging out? The answer to that cliffhanger? A big, bold Instagram post on September the 28th. Picture Eugenie rocking a pink bikini, playfully embracing Jack on a waterfront terrace. And to quench the thirst of romance enthusiasts everywhere, she captioned it with a cheeky baby boy. Social media hasn't been the same since. But love is a journey, right? Before Jack, our tennis queen was serving love balls with NFL star Mason Rudolph. Alas, by 2022, they parted ways, still acing the friendship game though. Jack too had his story, a chapter with model Nina Agdal that ended in 2021. Both heartbroken, maybe the universe played matchmaker, ushering them into each other's arms. A twist in our story. Not all is sunshine and love letters. While Eugenie's personal life soared, her tennis career had a few, shall we say, bumps. Picture the 2023 Guadalajara Open. Eugenie steps on the court, wildcard entry stamped and ready to make waves. The crowds are buzzing. After all, she's home turf royalty. She sets the court ablaze, conquering Mexico's Renata Zarazua with a smashing 6-1-7-6-4. But like any gripping Netflix series, the high doesn't last long. The next challenge? A face-off with seventh seed Veronica Kudermatova. Eugenie, the fighter she is, dragged the game to a tantalizing decider. Yet, Kudermatova, proving to be a formidable foe, took the match 6-2, 6-7, 4-6-4. Jeannie Bouchard secures just her third Main As for doubles, let's just say Eugenie and Maria Fernanda Navarro Oliva had a rough start, bidding adieu in the first round itself. It's been a while since Eugenie held a WTA title, the last one being in 2014 at Nuremberg. Grand Slam quarterfinals? You'd have to rewind to 2015 at the Australian Open. Now, you might wonder, does all this tennis talk matter in the world of love? Not necessarily, but it paints a picture. Two dynamic individuals with their share of highs and lows, coming together, finding joy. It's not just about star-studded events or Instagram posts. It's about companionship, understanding, and maybe, just maybe, finding that perfect doubles partner off the court. Endings are overrated. Let's call this a to be continued for these two. But one thing's for sure, Eugenie and Jack are the talk of the town. And we're all here for this ride. Now, let's circle back to our trivia question. Who played the first tennis match in space? Well, here's the answer. On August the 21st, 2018, space history was made with a twist. NASA's Drew Feustel led a groundbreaking event, the very first tennis game in the vastness of space, right aboard the International Space Station, ISS. Imagine this, Drew and his buddy, Ricky Arnold, swinging rackets in zero gravity, going head to head against a dynamic duo, Serena Onion Chancellor of NASA and Alexander Gerst from the European Space Agency. The stakes were high and the audience was vast. To spice things up, they even got tips through a video chat from a tennis superstar, Juan Martin del Potro, who clinched the US Open title in 2009. And for those of us back on Earth, we were treated to a live broadcast aptly named Live from the Unisphere, first tennis match in space. It wasn't just a game, it was a thrilling showcase of astronauts adapting to the unique challenges of playing in microgravity. Talk about serving an ace in space. When we compare tennis in space to tennis on Earth, and the main point obviously is that we have a very different uh, effect of gravity up here in space than we do on Earth. 
And that, my friends, is game, set, and match for this episode of Glam Slam Tennis. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a moment of the action and what we have in store. Until next time, stay fabulous and ace those serves.